In some ways, I feel like my own choice was a lucky choice many years ago um, because it has become my whole career. Uh, and it is a, a very uh, interesting, important problem. I'll say more about that, but it is something that I've never regretted uh, doing uh, and devoting my life, literally, to, to data warehousing. Uh, Professor mentioned some of the early uh, days at uh, Xerox. And I was there from uh, 1972 to 1982. And I think uh, Xerox gets credit for inventing the mouse, inventing Windows, inventing the concepts, all the concepts of personal computing. But, and, uh, and I think that Xerox uh, should have uh, credit for, for many of those things, but not really inventing them. Because when I went to Xerox in 1972, um, I went there uh, with my degree in electrical engineering, but it was man-machine system design. It was the uh, study, uh, and uh, so one of my first jobs was to understand the existing research in 1972 prior to Xerox. And uh, for example, there was uh, a wonderful system at uh, the Stanford Research Institute. This is a separate um, research uh, uh, company that, uh, where they invented the mouse and they invented the concept of um, moving the mouse exactly the same as the mice that we are familiar with and uh, seeing the uh, screen uh, look like a piece of paper, and even in some of the old, wonderful old movies uh, from the 1960s, from 1968, 1969, um, there were uh, pictures of the researchers uh, moving the mouse, editing text, but there was a uh, illusion of a document and another document underneath the first one. And you could touch the other one and it would come to the top. So what do we have? We have the mouse, windows, what you see is what you get, the concept of the graphical user interface, no icons, but uh, a large percentage of some of those ideas existed in isolated forms in the universities. And so really what Xerox was, was a place where it came together as an engineering demonstration, an engineering prototype. But even Xerox did not understand <laughs> what, they, what they possessed. They did not understand the true value. Uh, because at one time then they had everything. They had all, they could have created patents and um, protection for all of these ideas, uh, even though some of them came from universities, but Xerox did not understand what they had. And so by 1980, uh, there was a man from a little company called Apple who came to Xerox and a very famous demonstration. He saw the technology, this was Steve Jobs, uh -huh from Apple, he saw the technology at Xerox, and uh, why Xerox showed it to him, I don't know. Uh, actually, I, I gave him one demo, but, I, but uh, <laughs> not, not the really important demo. Uh, and so, of course, he uh, organized Apple's computers around these concepts with the, uh, the Lisa and the Macintosh products in the early 1980s. And so uh, that took the, those ideas from Xerox and it made them much more popular. He was a much better business person than Xerox was. And of course, uh, then there was one more person named Bill Gates who came, uh, well, I don't, it, he, he did come to Xerox, but of course he saw the Apple products in the early 1980s and that became Windows and Microsoft. So there is a whole progression, which I think is um, perhaps necessary. Uh, but where did it start? 
It started some time in the 1960s. That is the, um, the interest that I have always had personally. I have been fascinated by um, the way in which people use computers, why they find computers easy or hard to use. And one of the things I will tell you is that if you want to, um, if you want to have a career or if you want to work in business intelligence, one of the things that you need to be interested in is people. How do people react to computers? What do they find easy? What do they find hard? Uh, and uh, what can you do to make that more effective? And, and you must be interested or you will not be happy uh, working in this area. Um, uh, regardless of, of, all of what you do, that is a big part of it. So that has been my theme that has uh, been a consistent interest uh, from the very first days.